Hey everybody, I'm gonna talk today about histamine and the brain. So histamine is really, really important when it comes to the brain. It's involved in some really important brain-related activities, like the sleep-wake cycle, our stress response, our memory, our motivation, our appetite control, addictive behaviors. So you can see how it's very, very important. It's a really important chemical messenger between the brain and the body. So histamine in the brain can come from either mast cells or neurons, but in the brain, it comes more from histamine producing neurons, where in the rest of the body, we hear about it coming from mast cells primarily. So there are different enzymes that break down histamine. We talk a lot about the DAO enzyme, and that's where we are, you know, histamine is broken down in most of the body is from the DAO enzyme. But in the brain, it's broken down with an enzyme called HNMT. So if you are low in that enzyme, you're going to see more brain related histamine symptoms. So some of those symptoms can be poor sleep, poor appetite control, increased pain, um, uh, you know, unhealthy addictive behaviors, poor memory, and, uh, you know, anxiety, increased stress response, so you can see why it is important, just like it is anywhere else in the body, to be able to break down histamine properly. So how do we do that? So right off the bat, we want to reduce the amount of histamine that's coming into our body via food. So the highest histamine foods are fermented foods. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me about collagen. It's you know, really good for some people and some people do terrible with it. If you do terrible with it, it's probably because you have a histamine intolerance. Um, aged foods, avocados, citrus fruits, you know, strawberries, a lot of stuff. I have a whole list in my book, The Four Phase Histamine Reset Plan. And not only do I have a list, but I have a whole plan in here of what to do. So you need to support your liver. You need to check, you know, your gut health and make sure that you have you know, healthy amounts of good bacteria and you don't have histamine producing bacteria in there. So there's a whole list of, of reasons why histamine does not broken down properly. So those all need to be addressed and that's what I made this book for. So if you guys have any other questions about the brain specifically in histamine, I will be releasing an article soon that goes into a lot more depth. Um, so, and you can always leave me questions and I will make more videos. So thanks for watching.